This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. Nigleria falleri is also known as the brain-eating amoeba. If you get infected with the brain-eating amoeba, you're in big trouble. This parasite is an out-and-out -out killer. But while its actions often have deadly consequences, the amoeba hijacks the brain for a benign reason. To find food and shelter. Inside the brain, the amoeba has a perfect environment to feed and reproduce. You have food, heat, moisture. It's perfect for them to live their lives. But by living their lives, these parasites endanger ours. The amoeba has a two-pronged attack. First, it hijacks the host cells using special feet called pseudopods. Then, the amoeba cuts a hole in the cell wall. And when the contents of the cell leak out, the amoeba eats them. Not only are the amoeba ruthless killers, they also have a cunning method of evading the body's immune system. The amoeba can defend itself by forming a coat, which is called a cyst. And this coat surrounds the amoeba and is impervious to the host's immune system. When the body's white blood cells attack, the amoeba forms its protective coat. The white blood cells latch onto the coat, but can't get through. Then the amoeba sheds the coat and escapes unharmed, leaving the white blood cells behind. 98% of those infected with the Nigleria falleri parasite die in less than a week, making it one of the deadliest parasites on the planet. Nigleria falleri lives in bodies of warm fresh water such as lakes and rivers in tropical and subtropical regions. The parasite can infect humans if contaminated water enters the victim's nose. There, the amoeba latches onto nerve cells in the nose and travels into the brain, causing a condition that is almost always fatal. Nigleria falleri is a single-celled organism that typically lives in warm fresh water. It thrives in tropical and subtropical regions. Infection occurs when contaminated water enters the victim's nose. There, the amoeba latches onto nerve cells and makes its way into the brain. Nigleria falleri infections have been reported in 18 U.S. states. The majority of cases have occurred in Texas and Florida. To minimize the risk of becoming infected with the Nigleria falleri parasite, the CDC recommends that people swimming in bodies of warm, fresh water avoid getting water up their noses. The CDC also recommends not stirring up sediment while participating in water-related activities. In the United States, less than 1% of individuals infected with the Nigleria falleri parasite have survived. In most cases, the Nigleria falleri parasite kills its host in less than a week. Nigleria falleri is most common in lakes and rivers of the southern states, but it's been found as far north as Minnesota and as far west as California. Cases of human infection with Nigleria falleri are actually very rare. Since 2004, only 34 cases have been reported in the United States, and the majority of those cases occurred in Texas and Florida. To minimize the risk of infection, the CDC advises people swimming in bodies of warm, fresh water to wear nose plugs. The CDC also recommends not stirring up sediment while participating in water-related activities. For more blood-curdling monsters and their hideous habits, visit our website, animalplanet.com slash monstersinsideme.